Hey, I'm JD. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe. Please hit like. We're going to do a little magic today. As you can see, I was able to remove my head from my shoulders. That's the first trick. It's amazing how my head's on the left-hand side and my body's on the right. How do I do this? This is like a David Blaine thing. So, so we're going to do a little coin magic today. And let me show you the move. Okay, here's the move. You've got the coin in your hand here, and you're putting it into your palm. So you're just throwing it into your palm and you're turning your palm around like this. You turn your palm around, and then I've seen this being done where you say, okay, now let's take this coin here and throw it in the air. And the, the coin is gone, it's clipped in my finger between my pinky and my third finger. So I'm not gonna go through all the different methods, but once you've done this move and you've got the coin in this hand over here, you can do anything, but the main thing is to separate your hand, do a pause, separate your hand, move this hand down, and while you've, this hand is down, you can use your second finger to palm the coin. And now it's palmed and you can point back at this hand here. It's not in this hand. You can grab the coin, you can do a couple of passes, and the coin appears in this hand again. So that's more advanced stuff, but if you want me to show you that stuff, let me know. But but you probably want to see the guy with the head, right? No head. So, so, so here's the move. S step one, you put the coin in your palm and when you curl your fingers in, you shorten them on the curl. So you're, sh you're curling your fingers in this way, not like this. So let me show you that sideways. It's this way and not like this. And that allows you to take the, co the coin in your palm and then do this jogging the coin to the back of your palm like that. So let me show you, see if I can get a better angle here. So you're turning your hands like this and you're jogging the coin to the back of your palm. And so you've got what you have is a palm clip here. So you've got it in the back like that. Now it's ready to steal. Now I've seen folks on the internet here on the World Wide Web as they called it 25 years ago and I've seen them do this where they jog it back and then they say, is this coin in this hand or is it in not in this hand? And, then, and they, they kind of steal it with their fingers by doing this. And under here, they're just stealing it like that. And then away they go. I don't like that. I, I think it's just too darn obvious. Although it's, it can be done very cleanly. It's just too darn obvious. But it's a good move anyway but I like this move you do it this way here you point to the back of your hand now, you can't grab the coin this way obviously and when you rotate your hand counterclockwise and you rotate your other hand clockwise you're able to steal the coin so this is move two so you've got done move one you've jogged the coin to the back of your your hand in your palm so it's in this position here move two is you slap the back of your hand open and you rotate your both hands like this. So this hand rotates counterclockwise. This hand rotates counterclockwise. And as you're doing this, it allows you to be to make contact with your pinky and your second finger as you're rotating like that to steal that coin. So so you have it like this. This is step two, I'll say. And you've got to jog back. So again, you're throwing it in your 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 hand randomly. You jog it back like that. You go. Let me do a little magic trick for you with with this hand, like this. And now you've got the coin in this hand. You've pinched it, you've grabbed it, you've taken it from the palm here. It's no longer in this hand. So that's the move, that's step two. So like this, rotate smoothly, make sure they're touching as well. Smoothly like this, and you're able to grab that coin. And you, want, you don't want to jitter. <clears throat> so you don't want to take this like this, stop, and then do this. Because people will see that jitter. They'll see that pause, and you don't want that pause. So you want to take it from here. You want to rotate it smoothly like this. And now they think it's in this hand. Once they think it's in this hand, you can pretty much do anything you want. I've, over the years, separated the hand. So they're looking at this hand here. Separate this hand. Move it somewhere else like this. As this hand goes this way, this hand, the other hand, the right hand, goes down. And then you're able to take this finger here, the second finger here, 
put it over the edge of the coin, and palm the coin. And now you have it palmed and you have a free hand. So you're doing this, you're doing this, you're rotating it like that, you're palming the coin after you've dropped them both down, like this, and now you have a free hand here. <clears throat> Once your hand is free, you can, you, can, you can flash the empty hand if you want, or, or you, can do, you can do a lot of different things. If you flash the empty hand and you just fake grab the hand, then you can do a couple of turns over the hand like that and then ditch the coin into the palm while you're doing that. And so that's like this. You're like this. You throw it up in the air like that, or you toss it in the air like that, and then you catch it like this, and then you go one, two, like that, click your fingers. Clicking your fingers is good. It gives you that moment where the where the actual magic happens, like that. If you don't know how to click your fingers, please leave the video right now. <laughs> this is from the guy with no head. No head. Instructions from the no head guy. So step one is doing this, dropping the coin on the ground, and screwing it all up. <laughs> I'm back. Step one, put it in your hand. Step two, jog it to the back like this. Step three is slap, steal, and then after you have it in this position, you can do anything. You could put it in your pocket from here, but I prefer grabbing it with this finger and then palming it because it's just easy to do. You're crossing your fingers over and you're able to, doing it slowly is difficult, but palming it like that. So you have a good, a decent palm like this. So you're able to hold the coin and your hand almost flat. So this is my palm. I got a pretty, pretty good palm, pretty powerful palm. Um, I've seen people do hand wipes after this where they'll open their hand up like that and they'll say there's nothing in this hand and nothing in this hand and then pull the coin out from the back. That's called a hand wipe. So, And I can show you how to do that at some point in time. If you're interested, I will show you the hand wipe. So, so that is stealing the coin. So that's a, I'll call it a palm steal and I'll put it up like that and I'm going to try to get my head back here. Hang on. Hang on, and ouch, my head's back. <laughs> so, so that's that's the routine. Um, I think it's pretty good. I think it's something you should practice. It's a great way of getting a coin from one hand to the other. I've seen people do all kinds of different methods, muscle passes, where they can flip it back from one hand to the other with a muscle pass, like that, without you knowing, because you're 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 muscle passing it from the from the front, like this. And the coin is getting shot into that hand. I've seen other grabs where, 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 where a coin is in, in this hand like this, and then actually you're putting it in this hand like this. You're showing the blank hand like this, and then you're basically doing a little bit of magic like that, and then the coin has disappeared. Those are all good routines, but practice this one here, like this, point, grab, and then point, and then take this hand move it away take this hand move it down palm the coin with this hand palm the coin and then you're good to go so those are the phases practice it and if you want to learn any more coin magic let me know um, i'm willing to do it um, and don't you think that's a cool old guitar made in japan 1966 i think sears catalog my very first guitar there you go and that is not my very first hat <laughs> so so thanks for uh, tuning in. This is not a watch repair video. I normally repair vintage pocket watches. Uh, this is just a little bit of side magic, some distraction for you this morning. So have fun. Stay safe. Please subscribe. Please hit like. And I've got other magic videos on here. If you go to my channel, you'll see where they are. Bye.